everyone, welcome and welcome back to our channel. On today's video, I would like to share with all of you how I prepared for and what documents I prepared for our report of marriage to the PCG, the Philippine Consulate General. And here in my hand uh, is actually the return folder, well not folder, the return envelope from the PCG. They finished processing our report of marriage after a week and I received back my original documents and their acknowledgement receipt after 10 days. And yes, you guys, we are late by two years and a month because you are expected to report your marriage to PCG within one year after you got married. Otherwise, you will have to prepare an affidavit of late registration to support why your filing or your report is late. So thank God because our reason was considered valid. Basically, it's because of, you know, COVID-19. Uh, we do plan to go to PCG New York to report our marriage and then at the same time um, renew our Philippine passports, but because of COVID, the, of course, they have very limited schedules. One day, I decided to go and look at the website and kind of poke around and understand what do I need to do. And then there you go. I realized that we can actually do the registration online. So from then on, I was in a rush to complete everything and to mail out everything. Before we go to the preparation and the documents, I just wanna point out a few important items. Number one, you will have to research what jurisdiction your state is under. So Massachusetts is under the jurisdiction of PCG New York. So that's where we report our, that's where we reported our marriage and that's the website that I went to. Second, before I mailed out my documents, I kind of sent a mock um, documents for approval because that's what PCG New York um, requires. So I sent an email to, I'm going to put the email here below. I scanned all the documents that I am about to mail them. And after a few hours, I heard back and they said, okay, you're all set. You can mail out your documents because it kind of saves you time and money. If you get a pre-approval, then you already know that you have everything or if you're missing anything. So it's not like, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> The documents that I will be sending is also applicable for those who are not doing late registration because all the documents are the same except that you don't have to send the affidavit of late registration because you are within the time frame. Based on my research, some people did not have to send original documents. Photocopies are okay. Certified true copies are okay. So you have to be very careful because it depends on who will process your report of marriage. Like for us in PCG New York, it was clearly stated that you will have to send original documents and they will take care of it anyways. They will return them back to you. So all my original documents were not missing. They were all sent back to me. And without further ado, here is my preparation. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you a quick but detailed walkthrough of the documents we are going to be submitting to report our marriage to the Philippine Consulate General in New York. First and foremost, of course, the cover letter. This is always needed whenever you have to file for something. So it's easier for the officer to go through your documents and they know what to expect inside your packet. If you wish to see a copy of this cover letter, please visit my Facebook page. It's going to be there under there in the description box. 
Next in line is the money order that you can get from your bank, payable to the order of Philippine Consulate General. So it's very easy, guys. Just go to your bank, request for a money order. They would prepare this for you, but you will have to write what should be in that money order. Next in line is the report of marriage form that is readily downloadable from the Philippine Consulate General's website. Just make sure that you fill this out. They will have instructions there for you to um, follow. And if you need me to show you how I fill this out, please feel free to comment down below. I'll be more than happy to do a video for you guys. And this should be original and duly signed and notarized. Next is the Affidavit of Delayed Registration that is also readily downloadable from the Philippine Consulate General's website. And this is required for marriages who were not reported within one year from your marriage date. And you would also need one original and three photocopies of your certificate of marriage. Pay attention to this. This is very important. The marriage certificate you are submitting must bear the number of marriages both parties have already contracted. So if this is your second marriage, it should show that this is number two or second marriage. You would also need to submit one original and three photocopies of proof of your Filipino citizenship like U.S. naturalization certificate, your green card, your work permit, your visa, right? Next in line is the PSA, Birth Certificate of the Filipino Citizen, one original and three photocopies. And of course, let us not forget the birth certificate of the American citizen, one original and three photocopies. Next in line is the Filipino citizen's original passport and three photocopies of the biographic page. And of course, the American citizen's original passport together with three photocopies of the biographic page. And last but definitely not the least, a self-addressed priority mail USPS envelope with USPS tracking number. Of course, do not forget to take note of your tracking number so you know when your original documents are on its way to you. The Philippine Consulate would like for us to arrange the documents into four sections in the following order. The first one should be all original documents only, right? So if you notice my ID and my passport, actually our passports, and then the money order is inside <laughs> a Ziploc because I'm very OC. I don't want them to get damaged, to get wet or whatnot. So I put them in a Ziploc and then everything else is right there. I just clamped them together. All right. I used, you know, um, a binder clip that I got from Walmart. Very cheap. A box is like 98 cents. And then the next three sets are just all photocopies of the original. So I combine them into each set and then clamp them with a binder. All right. So all in all, four sets. All right, all four sets are in. And if you notice, like my binder clips, I arranged them like that in a diagonal position, just so, you know, to reduce bulkiness when you put them all in together. Because like if they're in the same position, it would be, it would look like this. And it's not very pretty. <laughs> Excuse my being OC. And this is just me. You don't have to do this. But I just don't want the officers to, you know, like drop <laughs> my documents. So after I put them in a manila folder, I'm going to be putting them in a envelope with clasp. You know, just for, you know, the protection of our documents. We don't want them getting lost because I had a very bad experience with 
um, social security. They lost my, <laughs> my marriage certificate and I don't want that to happen again. So, you know, better be safe than sorry. And this clasped envelope, I will be putting it in a padded envelope that I got from Walmart. I think this is like $2 something. So padded and plastic. You'll never know what the weather is going to be on the delivery date. So we want it protected. So I recommend for you to get a plastic padded envelope. We are so ready to mail this out. I just need to write down the addresses and off it goes to the Philippine Consulate General in New York. I hope you like this, guys.